These are the premium cars I got at the 3 inch meeting on Saturday, June 11 in Hoogstraten. Well, some might not consider everything on this table premium, like these high speed castings in a uh, Shuko Junior Line packaging. Paid 2 euro for uh, each. Um, the Ford Streetcar 2003 seemed kind of big compared to the Dodge Viper RT10 from 2003. So I measured these. The Viper is a little bit closer to 165 scale than it is to 164 scale, but I call that close enough. This one though is 159 scale, so yeah. My eyes were not deceiving me. This is definitely um, not true to scale. Even though I am... Um, I always thought high speed was uh, very close to 164 scale. This one clearly is not. So it will not go in the uh, display cabinet, but you know, for two euro, it's not really a bad deal, right? So this in uh, real life, this is a really tiny car so it's got the uh, Shuko name tampoed on the base it just says China here in the middle some exhaust detail there that you can hardly see from the back got painted lights front and back also got the license plate detail, Ford oval badge, third brake light there is a nice touch. Interior wise, it's okay looking. It's all black, but it's got, the, I mean, the details are there. Authentic rims with the plastic tires. And the front, I think these uh, lower Silver lights look better than the uh, tempoed headlights. This was uh, not very successful. This car, I think it was kind of pricey for what you uh, what you got, and you know, not very practical vehicle either, being so small. But uh, yeah, that's a cool addition to the collection. Is the Viper. This could be the uh, second gen of the Viper, I'm not sure. I'm not that uh, knowledgeable on American cars as you all know. It's definitely not the first gen, that I am sure there. So again, well, this almost seems like a Shuko sticker on there instead of Tempo. Authentic rims with the plastic tires painted on, uh, headlights and taillights. Got the side exhaust here, nicely done. Again, a license plate. An okay looking interior. Definitely got the, the details there that you would like. Mirrors look like a little bit blobby. Does have the uh, sun visors. That's a nice touch. Cool. This will be the, uh, I think, the first Viper in my display cabinets. Then we got an Auto Art Mitsubishi Lancer Evo. Five six seven. Uh, this was nine euro. A little bit steep for an auto art, but uh, and there was a table there that had some uh, Japanese or uh, JDM cars by auto art on the table, and uh, they were much more expensive than this uh, uh, 
Um, yeah, some people think they have gold in their hands. Come on. It's got two screws. doesn't mention the, the number seven on here Roman numbers black exhaust just got plastic tires authentic rims and also painted on headlights and taillights just like the uh, high-speed castings nice blue color Shibishi logo is white would imagine this would be red but maybe not on these evo models not sure about that it's white right hand drive so it's definitely jdm the the wing on the back seems to be plastic all black interior so kind of hard to see in there but sure it fits uh, a nice one cool um, let's start putting cars on here the parking lot that's what it's for right then I found my first example of absolute hot um, Normally I try to avoid SUVs in my display cabinet, although I have the Porsche Cayenne and um, you know, if you, uh, I mean the Range Rover and stuff, but um, I actually um, passed on a BMW X5 by I think Power 64. It was very cheap because I didn't want too many SUVs in my display cabinet, just not a big fan of the, the car concept. But uh, this um, this brand, Absolute Absolute Hot, only did the X5 and the X6 by BMW, so really don't have a choice here. So um, this was uh, seven euro, and it got a little discount. Licensed by BMW. Um, this company used to make. Uh, racing versions of Japanese cars and then they quit and then they restarted under a different name absolute hot and then uh, they started building uh, this don't know if they're still around honestly it's a very nice color it also helps So let's see, 164 BMW X5, absolute hot, made in China, some exhaust detail there. Um, and these exhaust tips actually go through the bumper. Look at that. That's really nice. Now let me check if this exhaust is open. If I put this thing in there. Well, yeah, it goes in quite a bit. Well, a little bit at least, because my... I think he is a little bit too wide to go really in there, but I think that's something more narrow. It'd go in quite a bit. So that's impressive. It's really open, this exhaust. Um, rubber tires. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I forgot about that. These wheels turn. I was going to show you that these are rubber tires and then the wheels just started turning. That's funny. Okay. Uh, as you can see, rubber tires with tread on them, authentic rims. We got uh, brake discs with calipers behind. I'm not sure if you uh, can see that. 
just uh, yeah, detail is there. So you can see the, uh, the wheels turning. Not far, but you know enough to give it a kind of a realistic look when you put this in the diorama. Very nice headlights with the, the light bulbs in there. The BMW kidneys are also very crisp. BMW X5 on the license plate. Painted uh, fog lights there, a little bit lower in the bumper. BMW emblem. A little bit of um, paint rash on the hood or bonnet, it seems. Maybe all around. But you know, from afar, it looks really nice, this color. Uh, it's got the, uh, what is it, 4.6i on the side. I believe that's what it is. Indicator repeater. Black around the windows and on the uh, side mirror. Reflective piece on the side mirrors. Some uh, black here for the little protection rubber for the doors. And then the, uh, the black bottom part of the bumper seems to be painted on in the front because it seems to be a die-cast bumper. But then in the back it seems to be a separate piece, this bottom piece here. Um, maybe it's part of the base, I'm not sure. Could be a separate piece. Interior-wise, it's all black, the interior. Maybe I can give you a better look with a little flashlight. Yeah, okay. Not very... The windows are a bit dirty. I think like this will work better. A little bit. No, no color in there, just black. But I'm happy to have an example of this uh, this brand, diecast brand. Put it back there. Then I managed to grab a Inno 64, which is uh, which doesn't happen very often because of my uh, price limits, and it's just within my price limit. This one. You can actually see Diecast Dude pick this one up in the video he did about this event. This is a Honda Civic Ferio SIR EG9. A blue Honda Civic, just like I have. But uh, mine is a 2017 station wagon. Here's some uh, more info. A 1992 model it is. This... Uh, Drawing on the back actually has a roll cage in there, but uh, the vehicle doesn't have that in it. There's some stickers in the back that you can uh, apply, but uh, I like the stock-ish look on this. It's obviously lowered and it's got a, seems to have a bigger exhaust than a standard, but other than that, it looks uh, stock enough for me to uh, to like it. Got an extra set of wheels in there, as uh, it often is the case. Black rims, five spokes, and there's gold six spokes on the vehicle. Uh, I like the gold ones better, so I'll leave those on. The sticker sheet is kind of in. Okay, so we got two sticker sheets. Or this is not the sticker sheet, this is just... Um, just a cardboard piece. This is the actual sticker sheet. Interesting. Okay, so there's a lot more stickers on here than there's uh, stuff depicted on here on the cardboard. So I've got that uh, kind of clear base like uh, they often use. I only have a handful in a 64, but every single one of them is very nice. No complaints whatsoever about any of them. Let's 
So with as with all the vehicles so far, this also has a plastic base. I, I think everything here on the on the table is a plastic base, which uh, bothers some people, but I don't mind. Got exhaust detail all the way from the front to the back, and then we got that big exhaust sticking out. I think this is painted. Yeah, the black here is painted. It's not really open. I mean, you can go in there a little bit, but it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely a full plastic part. It's just painted black for the, the tip to make it look like it's open. So we got rubber tires again. They have a little bit of a flat spot, it seems. And they turn well a little bit, but doesn't really roll, being as lowered as it is. Lensed headlights and taillights, obviously. The, um, the heater lines on the rear window, a little bit too big. Also has a wiper there. That's something odd that the uh, Japanese cars often had, even if they were sedans. Some uh, black paint around the windows. Got a, a badge here. Not sure what that says. So got VTEC printed on the uh, rear door and a bit of black strip, protection strip. Indicator repeater. Very tiny uh, mirrors. Those don't look stock either. With a little piece of reflective uh, sticker there. Very nice tail lights with the, basically the red, the orange, and the uh, clear for the reversing light. Little uh, spoiler here, probably plastic that's glued on with the third brake light. Civic Furio on the license plate, on the badge, and Civic badge. SIR down there underneath the right brake light, um, right uh, tail light. In front again, license plate with the name on it on the badge, orange for the indicators. And also, what's a very nice detail is the uh, four point harness on the uh, bucket seats in the interior. That's really nice. Uh, it's got a gray dashboard, black steering wheel, black seats, and um, it also has some uh, some gauges detail there in the instrument cluster. So yeah, definitely a nice one. Just black seats in the back and a black partial parcel shelf. But uh, yeah, definitely. Nicely detailed. Awesome. And then the rest of the vehicles here will be Kyosho. Let's start with this uh, only Mercedes that is in here. So seven euro asking price. I got a little discount. This is the uh, SLR McLaren. I use only one screw and then there's a pin uh, to uh, kind of hold uh, the vehicle in place so it doesn't start turning when you unscrew it. So it says 164 Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren on the base. Got side exhausts that are just black part of the base. Of course, we've got rubber tires, the tread, authentic rims. These are really nice. Obviously, lensed headlights, which uh, yeah, look nicely detailed. Sadie Star got some chrome on there. Some black for the grill.
Then we got the lens tail lights, SLR on the left, a third brake light there, and then a tiny Mercedes star in the middle, and then uh, some reflectors down there and some black for the bumper. A bit, little diffuser here, but you know. And uh, yeah, has a uh, old Kyosho black interior. So hard to show on camera. Nice one. And the other one off we have here is this Audi. This is in the Audi dealership packaging. Same price. 20 cars in the set apparently, but no uh, depiction of what other vehicles are in the set. So this Audi A4 sedan came in this uh, meteor gray and in brilliant red. Uh, and the seller only had the gray one, so did not get to choose the color. Otherwise I would have gotten the red one because as I said before, it brightens up your display cabinet. So detail, there's a lot of detail on the base, but no, uh, no silver for the exhaust or anything. Obviously rubber tires authentic rims got an uh, I think is an indicator repeater in the mirror there some chrome around the windows and all these Kyosho of course have uh, lensed lights front and back nice chrome ring around the uh, grill and of course the Audi rings also nice and shiny there's a little badge here in the grill which uh, Will not be legible. Little dot of white paint for the fog lights. The lights nicely detailed, two tone. I think it says 3.2 quattro on the right. Got some uh, exhaust detail from the base but as they are black they're kind of hard to see put it uh, well put it here then let's get to bmw uh, miniature collection of bmw automobiles here's all the vehicles in the set same price again uh, in yen these were originally Price 368 yen, that is 2 euro and 65 cents, and about the same in uh, US dollars. Um, these have a 2005 copyright. Here's the other vehicles in the set. Uh, the seller put a sticker on there to show what was uh, what is in here. I also got the BMW 2002 Turbo, BMW 3.5 CSL. The M1, the M3, the first uh, M3, the X5, the V12 LMR, that's probably uh, Le Mans Racing, BMW Z8, BMW Z4, and the M3 CSL. So let's take a look at that Izetta. So here's the three colors, blue, orange, and red. He only had the, the orange one. He had two of them, actually. 1955. But the other one has a had a broken blister and came without a box. It was the same price, so of course I chose the, the boxed one. Why wouldn't I? If he made the other one cheaper, of course, I would have gotten the, uh, the other one, because I'm a cheap bleep. BMW Azeta 250. I'll uh, 
compare it to the Shuko one on the parking lot at the end of this video, as usual. Okay, they managed to uh, put a lot of details on uh, on this base, even though it's such a small, tiny vehicle. That's impressive. We got four rubber tires with the authentic chrome dog dish wheels. We've got some uh, flat black paint for the soft top that opens up. We got a separate chrome bumpers, full chrome bumper in the back and then uh, partially in the front because it, this door swings open to the right to the front so otherwise the bumper would be in the way. Tiny lensed headlights, BMW logo with the Isetta name underneath it and some silver for the wiper. A little indicator repeater here on the side and some uh, painted uh, lights on the back. Uh, yeah, and again, black interior, so kind of hard to show. It's got the steering wheel that kind of uh, folds to the side when you open the uh, refriger refrigerator door in the front. Interesting construction, and then the engine is right here. There's a, an air intake here for the engine. It's kind of a motorcycle engine in there. So, uh, Put it next to the Z IZ here. The Shuko one, I mean. Then second BMW, same price. Okay, I have to make some more room here next to the parking lot, otherwise not going to be able to fit them all on there. BMW X five silver blue and black he only had the uh, black i think he had two black ones i would have preferred the blue one obviously 1999 model but you know if you don't want to buy on uh, online or on ebay and you just want to buy on uh, swap meets then you have to take what you can get so I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. Again, nice authentic rims. And this is kind of a metal flake black, but uh, even though it's got some metal flake in there, it does have paint rash, which is, um, yeah, very common with Kyosho. Definitely the black ones, but also the uh, the non-metallic colors uh, can suffer from it. If you want to be safe with the Kyosho, you have to buy uh, all silver ones. Then you won't have any paint rash. Nicely detailed lensed headlights. The kidneys are very chromey compared to uh, this Absolute Hot, which uh, has a much more crisp grill. It's a different model year, X5, I know. But uh, yeah, seems like there's a bit too much chrome on the Kyosho one. And the uh, headlights on the Absolute Hot are a little bit more detailed also, but Kyosho is not bad. And it's much older, of course. And then, of course, lens daylights with uh, some white parts there for the indicator and for the reverse light. X5 badge. Some exhaust detail for exhausts, but no, um, no engine uh, mentioned on the vehicle. And a uh, third brake light up there. A little hint of a wiper in the back here. Seems to be tampoed on or just maybe a little bit raised in the plastic, but it's hardly noticeable. Okay, um, I want the uh, X5s next to one another, so 
I have to uh, shuffle a little bit every once in a while on the parking lot. And then the third BMW and last one. The Z8, available in silver, red and black. Again, seller only had the black one, so 1999 model. Interestingly, the um, exhaust are molded into the um, die cast, the low part of the bumper here. So, quite a lot of metal on this one. Um, nice looking rims. The uh, BMW kidneys here, which are of course differently shaped than the uh, the ones on the X5, have uh, a lot of chrome on them. The lights are chrome, painted indicator lights, and then lensed headlights with some uh, bulb details in there. Not bad. And of course the BMW logo in the middle there, the center. Got this uh, air intake or outlet on the side in the silver with the BMW badge again. Silver paint for the door handle. And then all tampoed in the back because these tail lights are very narrow, but we get orange and red. Z8 badge in the middle there underneath the BMW logo. And a good looking interior. And there's not a lot of paint rash on this one. It's got a little bit, but it's not too bad. Let's slide this over. Yeah, it's going to have these BMWs next to one another. Then we got Subaru. This seems like a dealership packaging. The BRZ or BRZ, same price, 2013, copyright, um, because those are a mini car collection and this is just, just says BRZ, so that's why I think it might be a dealership packaging. So we got it in blue and red and in white. 2013 copyright, did I already say that? I don't remember. And the seller had the red one. Here's a card with the three colors. So we get some silver for the um, sump of the engine. We get some silver here in the middle, not on the exhaust, but on the um, bottom, the chassis of the vehicle. And then we get some uh, silver here on the uh, muffler and the exhaust tips. These wheels do not roll. Um, they're very snug against the wheel wells. Uh, Two-tone rims, black and silver. Got the Japanese style license plate with the car make and model name on there. Some silver paint for the fog lights and some black for the grill around it. Black also in the middle here. Painted tiny Subaru logo in the middle and then headlights lensed obviously 
Um, there seems to be some orange in there for the indicator, which I think is a nice touch you know, towards the middle there. Um, right there, see, there's some orange for the indicator. That's cool. Um, paint rash, it seems, yeah, because it's a red one. Yeah. And it's non-metallic. Some black painted details around the windows and on the side here, around the mirrors. It has some silver paint on the uh, mirrors, which is unusual for Kyosho. Got even a black line here for these, uh, they call them rain gutters. Little plastic spoiler on the back. And lots of details in the tail lights also. So we got clear lenses and then some uh, red paint behind it. Same Japanese style license plate and quite big exhaust that seems to be yeah open uh, I think there's some black paint in there or maybe not no no I don't think so it's actually open this part here this exhaust tip is open to around about here I think by the looks of it that's nice that's nice detail and then this, uh, this is the third brake light down here. It's kind of an odd spot to put it. It's not that it's very visible. I guess the uh, reverse lights next to it. Yeah, very nice model. Besides the paint rash, I'm very pleased with it. But you know. When you buy Kyosho, uh, you know there's a risk to paint rash. So. If you don't want that, don't buy them. It's that simple. Subaru mini car collection. So this is a definitely, not, definitely not a dealership packaging. Uh, these were 10 euro. It's from a different seller. 2014 copyright. So we got the Subaru Alcyon. SVX, I've got the green one on the parking lot, Subaru Legacy RS, Subaru Impreza 22B STI version, Hot Wheels also did, uh, has a model of that vehicle, Subaru Legacy Touring Wagon, I've got this one on the parking lot too, Subaru Impreza S204, Subaru Impreza R205, Subaru Impreza S206 NBR Challenge Package, and the BRZ with SCI genuine optional parts. Also has uh, the model and the color on there. That's uh, very nicely done. And what do we have here? We have the uh, Legacy RS. This is actually um, the only one he had of this model, but I'm glad it's this one he had because the other one are in a racing livery and that would not appeal that much to me. So actually really glad, really glad he, um, he got this one. Some exhaust detail, just the uh, the end pipe as visible from the back. So kind of goldish rims. It's got the safety bar in there, and a strange scoop on the roof. Headlights again looking nice and crisp 
Subaru badge in the middle, some black paint for the uh, protection strip on the bumper in the front, and a nicely detailed bumper too. So is the grill actually. Some uh, black around the windows all around basically. And a black strip here. Does it say legacy here or what does that say? I uh, have a hard time re reading that. Could I zo zoom in on that? Will it still be legible? Hmm. I don't think so. Doesn't really want to. Anyways, nicely done lens tail lights, so red, or orange, and a clear. Some silver on there, Subaru name, big letters. Yeah, I think it says Legacy here on the side. Strangely enough, it's a left hand drive. Maybe it's got something to do with the um, championship it uh, participated in, which was maybe in Europe. Maybe it was a rallying in, uh, in Europe. It's got uh, bucket seats with four-point four harnesses that are not detailed like the um, Inno 64 ones were. Because, uh, Kyosho usually doesn't do that, so it seems like they Back seats are taken out and there's some stuff in there. Besides the roll cage. Cool. Yeah, very pleased with it. A little bit of paint rash again. It's not a non-metallic color, so... But it's not that bad and, you know, from a distance you, you don't see that, so I don't really mind. Um, put it next to the other Subaru here. In the parking lot. Same collection. I don't know if there's there were several mini car collections for Subaru or not, but it seems like I got um, the first Subaru collection and the first BMW collection. Here we got the 22B, and uh, seems to be a metallic or metal flake or white. Uh, so. Of course, I would have preferred the blue one, but it's better than the, the black one. Again, some exhaust detail. And it seems like that exhaust is also open in the back. Or maybe, yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. But yeah. Almost feels like they um, go the extra mile for these uh, Subarus, or maybe they're just, it's just because they are newer than the other ones. Maybe that's the, what it, why they have a little bit more detail. So we got the gold, uh, authentic looking rims again. Oh, that's nice. So the uh, these big high beam lights down in the bumper are also lensed. Apart from the headlights, that's cool. So we get some black paint here on the uh, on the air intake for the intercooler. That's nice. Black around the windows and on the roof here. The drip rail. Is this a badge here? Silver thing. Oh yeah, it does have it on the other side too. There seems to be some kind of a badge, but really doesn't really say much. Uh, plastic wing on the back. Again, taillights very nicely done. 
And does this say 22B STI version on that badge there? I think it does. And the third, third brake light on the, on the wing is nice too. So this being a metallic or a pro white, well, it's got some, you see some uh, bubbling on the hood or bonnet too. So even these metallic ones don't seem to be free from uh, paint rash. And also notice just now, it's got some black for the door lock. Nice. Uh, right hand drive this one. Just regular seats in there. Although they look sporty but they're not bucket seats. Again, a really nice one. I need to put this one with the Subaru obviously. La Subaru Impreza S204 came in silver, black and blue. Again, would have preferred the blue, but take what you can get. Some exhaust detail and again the exhaust seems to be very nicely done no black paint here on the back but an actual open exhaust that's cool authentic rims of your of course silver for the uh, side mirror So tempo wise not a lot of details just a badge but being a black one they can kind of skimp on the on details um, the um, rear windows are uh, smoked and then the front windows are clear it's a nice touch again the wiper on the rear window Funny. The lights are very nicely done. Again, it seems to get some orange in there for the indicator. I think uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. I think it's this one as the indicator, but the orange is, seems to be painted underneath the tail light, so it kind of has an orange glow. the bottom too interestingly s204 it says here on the badge sti on this side and a uh, well i'd say uh, it's a plastic wing it does have some silver on here which is maybe the housing for the third brake light not sure Definitely very good looking. And then we get to Porsche. So I got one without the box from uh, the seller. I got the most of these from for all the same price. Porsche 911 Carrera S. Does not have the card with the other colors, unfortunately. Um, there's also something strange about, um, about this. Meaning that I have a Porsche 911 Carrera 4S um, that I think is also by Kyosho. Well, it says so on the uh, the base, but it doesn't say anywhere else. Um, let's look at this one first. 
exhaust tips here painted silver definitely not uh, open this is the uh, 991 model of the 911 got some black paint here on the on the grill the engine cover Porsche 911 Carrera S in silver between the uh, lens taillights which are very narrow but they still manage to get some detail in there of course authentic rims with the uh, tread on the rubber tires rather large mirrors and the um, I actually got four lensed pieces in front because also these um, lower ones in the bumper are lensed. That's nice. Some black paint for the grill on the bottom. This is a metallic white or pearl white, by the way. Now, the other one I have came in this box, uh, which only has Porsche logos on it. So, meaning it's a uh, was probably a dealership exclusive and just says it's a of course an acrylic case one 911 Carrera S on the base here and then Kyosho on the bottom of the base so that's the only way I know this was uh, by Kyosho because on the car itself on the base just says 164 Porsche 911 Carrera 4S. Well, actually, it just says Carrera S here on the base, but on the uh, tempo on the back, it says 4S. See? Carrera 4S. Now, I've compared these two castings beforehand, and uh, there's quite some differences. Um, if you look at the, I try to hold these with one hand and then indicate some stuff with my other hand. If you look at this nice gold version, it's got a clear and visible lip here. This one has a hint of a lip, but I mean, my little pick here does not get stuck underneath it. And you can just go over it while here. Clearly I can follow this lip here with my, uh, with my pick. That's interesting. Um, these lights here in the bottom are a little bit more narrow on this one. The exhaust have the black uh, paint for the tips that this one doesn't get. Now you can argue the um, uh, acrylic box ones get more details, but for example, this part here is painted in the body color it has a little bit of a, a little bit of depth on it while this part here is uh, painted flat black and it doesn't have that uh, depth that the other one has it's kind of rounded the lights also are different uh, these ones have the the clear lens part in the middle these are all red Uh, they have different rims which you know is not that strange because this is a 4s and this is just a regular s although I think uh, there's not a lot of styling wise there's not a lot of difference between an s and a 4s but you can correct me if I'm wrong the mirrors on the the champagne one are smaller than the one on the pearl white one and also the headlights are much more detailed on the champagne colored one on the acrylic box one but then the Porsche badge is way too big on the acrylic box one. So the, uh, the so-called cheaper plastic bubble blister one has a much more accurate Porsche logo. Uh, definitely more details on the lens headlights on this one. And then in the bottom, they both have the, the lens lights there, but the, the grill on the right one is bigger and more detailed than on the left one. 
Is that a difference for a 4S? Maybe that's possible. I don't know. But then the biggest noticeable difference is that this is the only Kyosho I have that has a colored interior. It's got uh, silver steering wheel and it's got red inserts for the black seats even in the back. And that is very uncommon for a Kyosho. And it's not even the same interior as the uh, the pearl white one. If you look at that middle gauge there in the center of the dashboard, it's much smaller on the left one than it is on the right one. Again, might be a difference between an S and a 4S, but uh, to me, these are two different castings. And if you see that one is carrying the Kyoshu name and the other one is not, they both are screwed together, but uh, they're clearly different bases. The uh, dealership, Porsche dealership one has uh, no, no tread on the, on the tires also. So yeah, there's something really strange going on here. Um, so when I bought this and I got home, I thought, oh no, I bought this one and I already have a Kyosho. I, but now I'm glad I bought this to be able to compare these. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to explain this, but there's there definitely. And this one has black on the grill. And this one doesn't. So you think this would be more detailed because it's an acrylic box one. It doesn't have black on the grill. It has a uh, Porsche badge that's too big. I mean, there's some things that that are weird, but then it has more detailed le uh, lensed headlights. Uh, it's weird. And of course, the interior is the biggest difference. Weird stuff. Oh, and it's got the uh, brake discs too that uh, I don't think any other Kyosho has. Don't see any calipers though. I mean, this one definitely doesn't have uh, brake discs and I don't think I have any Kyosho that has brake discs. That's okay, I mean, if you see what these cost back in the day, 399 yen, that's two euro and 88 cents, about the same in US dollars. Of course, this is an older set. This is actually uh, the second mini car collection by Porsche. Same price as uh, many of these. So we got the 934, the Carrera GT, the 911 SC. I've got this one already on the parking lot. 944 S2, Cayenne Turbo, 911 GT2 from 1998, and the 911 GT2 from, 90, from 2002. 11 GT3 RS, the Boxster, and 935. So let's take a look what I got. Here's the Porsche Cayenne Turbo in silver. Came in gold, in uh, silver, and in uh, gray. Uh, so I'm happy with any of these. Uh, but this is the only one the seller had, so that's what I got. Quite a uh, weighty model. It is a, uh, a big car after all, or as the Americans would say, probably a truck. So detail-wise on the base, we get nothing. Well. We get some details molded in the plastic, but no tampo or paint, I mean. So again, as always, authentic rims with rubber tires, lens headlights, tiny Porsche logo, black paint for the grills. There's even some white paint here, down here. Is that supposed to represent fog lights? I don't know. Never seen that before. Some white for the 
indicator repeater or is that just a side light? And no black paint around the windows because these the B pillar and C pillar are painted silver. I don't know if that's the case on the real one too. All red taillights do get some lines on there that I think the uh, the real one had. Cayenne turbo and silver on the lift gates, so kind of hard to see. Four exhausts in black. Not bad. Uh, gonna put a few Porsches there and then a few uh, a little bit um, closer on to me on the uh, on the other parking lot. Uh, same set is the collection two. Porsche 911 GT2. So this is the 2002 version, the 911 996 model. White, silver, and black. So definitely got the the best uh, best version because uh, I've never seen paint rash on a silver one. Or hardly. Again, no paint on the base here. Get some black paint here on the on the side. Quite nicely detailed headlights, I must say. Tiny Porsche logo, some black paint here, flat black. And then the black you see for the grill is actually part of the base or the interior. Either one of these. Some black paint here on the air intake in the back. That's a nice touch. GT2 in the middle, third brake light. Um, the top part of this wing is plastic and then the bottom part is part of the die cast casting. Two-tone tail lights, black exhausts. My least favorite Porsche 911, but it's the first example or premium example I have of the 996. So I'm glad it's this one. And as you can see, silver does not suffer from uh, any paint rash. Paint is uh, spot on. The last one of the Series 2. Old uh, sticky tape. This is the Boxster. Came in red, silver, and black. Silver would have been the smart choice if, well, if I had the choice, but I didn't. Um, red is looking good. And it doesn't seem to have too much paint trash, so we're uh, locked out on this one. All black base, good looking rims and tires, a bit of black for the grill and the bumper there, and then the headlights. Some uh, black here for the intake on the side. Two-tone taillights. Boxer name in the middle. And then the center exhaust with some black paint next to it. And uh, again, all black interior, but nicely detailed. So put it next to the other Boxsters and then we can look at the uh, three generations of Boxsters. At the end of this video, Porsche Collection 4, 
same price I paid now, but back then they were a little bit more expensive. 500 yen, that's 3 euro and 61 cents, and about the same in US dollars. We've got 550 Spider, 907, 911 RSR Turbo, 911 RS 964, 962C, 911 RS 993, Carrera GT, and the 911 GT2 RS 997. There's also a Carrera GT with an open roof. This is the closed roof version. 2011 Kyosho copyright. Did I say the copyright on the other box? The Series 2 was 2006. Okay, so they're five years apart. These collections. The uh, 962C in yellow. I would probably not have bought this if this was in a racing livery, but because they are just in plain colors, uh, I got it. I did get it, and uh, yeah, definitely the best uh, color out of the three. So, very plain base, but that race car would also have had uh, this uh, kind of a flat uh, base, I'm guessing. Uh, a little diffuser in the back. Nicely done lens tail lights with uh, red, the uh, orange for the indicator, and the clear for the reverse light in it. So that's a nice detail. Black exhaust, four exhausts actually, quite small ones. The uh, spoiler is um, metal, I think. Very nicely detailed rims. This is also what uh, kind of got me to buy this. Um, these are not that big rims and uh, yeah, very nicely detailed. The silver and then the kind of goldish color in the middle. With those um, racing style center hub nuts to uh, to undo it easily. Some black paint here for the uh, air intake, probably. Headlights are nicely detailed. Got some silver in there for the headlights for the, the light bulbs. Some black paint here in the front, Porsche logo, indicator repeater here on the side, which is kind of funny for a race car. And some black, flat black paint here on the, the plastic roof. It's got two seats in there. Maybe you can uh, shine a light on that. It's kind of interesting to see. Four port harness, obviously. Uh, it's very snug in there. If you are uh, two people in there with all the heat from the engine, I think it uh, must feel like a sauna. Same collection. Here's a 911 RS 993 model. Silver, black, and yellow. Yellow would have been fine too. But we got the safe choice one. And silver also brings out uh, the details on a diecast car very well. That's also a plus. Here we get some exhaust and muffler details cool exhaust is not open just silver on the end again very nicely detailed rims look at that not bad at all some uh, black paint here on the bottom of the casting on the side 
it's not part of the base it's actually painted on that's nice indicator repeater white and orange in the bumper there some uh, silver with black down there some black here even on the on this is this an intake too not sure some black around the windows black grill plastic grill piece for the engine cover in the in the spoiler and the wing kind of a whale tail isn't it Carrera RS just above the tail lights and again tail lights orange on the corners then red in the middle and some clear for the reverse light Porsche name is printed on there kind of hard to show you but it is there cool very pleased to have this this is a uh, 9 and 3 is my favorite Porsche cool put it next to my other 993 on the parking lot last Porsche here and then we're going to do an overview of the parking lot here's the Carrera GT the closed version came in silver red and white again we got the safe choice one my first Carrera GT in uh, as a premium model Got quite a few 918 spiders, but not uh, the Carrera GT. Exhaust tips are silver sticking out here in the back, together with a red light on the left and a silver light on the right. So a fog light and a reverse light, obviously. Carrera GT in white, in between the lensed tail lights. This. Uh, mesh piece here is very nicely done and uh, actually I don't know if you can hear that it actually is structured and you can see some engine detail underneath that's nice I like that some black paint here for this uh, opening and same here too very nice looking rims the lights have some light detail in them Again, the grill part is part of a plastic piece. Definitely very pleased with this one. Cool. All right. Seems like uh, I was able to fit everything on the parking lot. I didn't think that was going to uh, work out, but apparently it did. So let's put... Um, yeah, these together and then uh, well I didn't put the uh, this thing on there because it's not true 164 but you know I've got room so put it on there anyways I'll get you guys off the tripod hopefully without uh, knocking stuff over and then we do we fly over the parking lot so here we got those two mysterious Porsche 911 991s by Kyosho. Here's that uh, 911 SC I talked about. I will uh, let you have a look on the side there. It's a nice one, also Kyosho. Then Another Kyosho is this uh, 918 Spider Concept. It's got those uh, side exhausts. That's how you can see it's the Concept version. It also looks a little bit different than the uh, production one. Doesn't roll. And here we got three generations of uh, the Boxster. So we got the Kyosho on the left in the middle is the Mini Champ 64 and then on the right is the Shuko, the third gen. 
So cool to have an example of uh, the first three generations. And uh, currently there's the fourth, fourth generation. And then my only two uh, 993 Porsches. Uh, so we got just a um, basic Carrera by Auto Art on the left in mint green. And then the, um, the RS I just acquired by Kyosho. So as you can see, this auto art is also just the uh, tempoed lights, just like the Mitsubishi I got. Some auto art have lens lights, some have uh, tempoed lights. Then we got the uh, Izettas on the uh, handicapped spots. You can actually fit three of these on the one parking spot for a regular vehicle if you park them sideways. So they are as wide uh, as long as a, a regular vehicle is wide. This is the Kyo, uh, Shuko version, sorry. This is a uh, Chase version, one of only 50 produced. And then here's the Kyosho. Uh, they're a little bit different uh, years, it seems, or maybe models. This said 250 on the packaging. I don't know if this, you know, there's no detail on this one. Uh, besides BMW is Izetta and Shuko, so uh, Kyosho definitely managed to put more details on the base of uh, this one, but you know it's a plastic base, probably easier than a uh, metal base like uh, the Shuko one. So there's, well, uh, there's some details, but not that much. The this V shape you see here, the Kyosho also has, but it's kind of covered in paint so you see also has that a little bit more narrow it does have the BMW logo and, uh, and yeah is that the name in the middle there well oh yeah this one has it too but the lights are definitely different uh, on these the headlights and then you can see the bumper part that's kind of on the sides here and just goes all the way on the Shuko. Shuko has a multicolor interior. That's also much nicer and easier to look at than the uh, Kyosho. On the side, there's more detail for the engine intake on the Shuko. And you can see the, um, the windows are different too on them. So, definitely different to model year. Or just a different model altogether. In the back they're very similar but still different. The, um, the Kyosho has the center light here while the uh, Shuko has some kind of a grill there and what seems to be a fuel filler cap. But the lights, the tail lights are about in the same spot and of course the this one's got the panoramic rear window. They both have the soft tops. Then we got the whole bunch of Subarus. So these you've all seen. Let me open up. And these are the two I mentioned uh, that I already had. The SVX. Very nice model too. And then the uh, Legacy Wagon. Sweet. So, got a few more Porsches here. Actually, they're not all together, are they? So, you know what? I'll switch a a few so that they are together. There you go. Um, yeah, three more Porsches. Four, sorry. Ford. Mitsubishi, Dodge, and we got these uh, BMWs X5, different model years, set for McLaren SLR, blue Honda Civic, and then those two Audis I have by Kyosho. So the other one is the A6 Avant. Yeah, definitely. 
definitely pleased with this parking lot uh, this was a, a great score of uh, mostly true 164 scale cars and uh, i hope you also enjoyed thanks for watching